before we go to the wonderful world of Trump, why don't we actually figure out what's uh, going on uh, around the rest of the world where you have uh, some say in U.S. policy. First of all, we understand that uh, we are making some advances in Fallujah. How is the war against ISIS on the ground going right now? Uh, it's not going well. I, we, uh, it's been slow. It's, uh, it's urban warfare, as you know. The, um, you know, it's, uh, we have Shia militias on the ground. We've got the Iraqi uh, military, which really has not stepped up and, and been as good as everyone would wish for them to be. And I think we know it's going to be a long slog. So uh, we've got a lot of work to do there. And, you know, uh, Joe, uh, moving back to uh, the issue, you know, at the end of the day, um, we have a binary choice that is coming before us. And if you think about the decisions that were made back in 2011, the incredibly uh, immature uh, incursion into Libya that just left it ungovernable. We got five or 6,000 ISIS right. members there. You look at the precipitous leaving of Iraq, which has created this situation. You look at the fact that we encouraged the moderate opposition in Syria, and at a time when we could have made a difference, we didn't do the things so what that we, we said so we would do. So, do so the do fact right is, now? we've had a we've had a really uh, a series of really bad decisions that have been made, um, right. and uh, we've got to focus on the fact that we have a, a binary choice that is coming up. And so, if I could, I, I look. I don't condone the comments about the judge. Well, I don't let, 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 me st let me stay with okay. foreign policy for okay. one second, if that's okay. okay. So, so uh, we've been hearing from some military leaders, <laughs> also been hearing from foreign policy leaders that we are making advances against ISIS on the ground, that their, that their uh, footprint is shrinking. Um, again, I'm not, not cross-examining you. I'm, I'm yeah. hoping for some good news here. Yeah. It, 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 is what we're hearing, or at least a truth check, is what we're hearing from military leaders correct? Is the ISIS footprint <clears throat> shrinking? Are things getting better there? So uh, we are making slow gains. Um, you know, I was in Iraq. Uh, at a time right before last June when we were planning to go into Mosul at the time. Obviously, it's June again. It's a year right. later. Um, we haven't been able to make those moves yet, so it's a slow slog. Yes, we are making advances. That is true. And, uh, and, uh, and we should encourage uh, additional advances to be made, no right. doubt. But, but, uh, but, but it's, been a, it's, been a, it's certainly taken much, much longer. Yeah. And Joe, again, we gave up so much. And now we're back in with 4,000 uh, troops doing what they're doing. And we appreciate those efforts. Uh, but uh, you know, we, we've lost uh, years. Uh, right. We lost a lot of ground due to mm. some just, really, just really poor going, foreign yeah. policy just, decisions just that were made. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.